The large fight in an east side neighborhood ends with four people shot, including three teenagers. Glad you're with us tonight for Local 4 News at 11. The youngest wounded is just 15 years old. Fortunately, all four victims survived. That shooting happening on McCoy Circle. That's near East Warren and Connor Street. Pamela Osborne live on the east side tonight with more on what escalated the violence there. Pam. Well, police are still working to determine what caused these two groups of people, mostly teens, to get involved in this fight in the first place. Whatever the reason is, police say there's no reason why this should have ended and dozens of shots fired in the middle of that neighborhood. As you can see, everyone lives in close quarters here, the way that the, uh, the complex is designed. So we could have had a lot more people shot. Shell casings and evidence markers litter the ground of this McCoy Circle neighborhood on the city's east side. On the other side of the yellow tape is where police say two groups of about 20 people, mostly teens, got into it. Before long, guns were drawn and a shootout soon yeah, followed. You know, it's, it's unfortunate. It's, it's, it's really, uh, it's, it's horrible. I mean, whatever conflict they were having, you know, not only did you did they put each other's lives in jeopardy, but they put all the residents here uh, in this villa uh, in jeopardy. Chief James White says two of the victims, a 15 and 16 year old, are in stable condition. An 18 and 29 year old are in temporary serious condition. All of the young men expected to recover from their injuries, but the chief wants to know how they got here in the first place. Enough is enough. And we're going to find out what the 15 year old is doing. How come the the adults in the group weren't trying to talk them out of fighting as opposed to participating in it. Police did recover two guns from that scene. They say they're searching for one more. They're also looking for a woman who they say is somehow connected to this incident. They're stepping up patrols in that neighborhood as this investigation continues. Reporting live outside the fifth precinct, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4. Definitely a frightening night for those living in that community. Thank you, Pamela.